get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of Hint Water, RX Bars, P90X, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Uh, our sponsor today is Rise25.com, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25, we host in-person VIP events and masterminds for top entrepreneurs all over the country, including many in the e-commerce industry. We hosted them in Chicago, Austin, Santa Barbara, San Diego, New York, Sonoma, and others across the country. We just got back from Las Vegas. And uh, so if you see your, yourself in uh, the value of immersing yourself with other top entrepreneurs to connect, check out Rise25 and Ask us where our next event's going to be. Um, I also want to do a thank you shout out to Azrael Ratz, who hails all the way from Israel, for introducing me to today's awesome guest. Uh, Azrael uh, helps companies find their ideal audiences on Facebook and create more sales. And he can be found at Rats Pack Media, not like Frank Sinatra Rats Pack, but his last name, R A T Z Pack Media. Um, today I'm very excited because you'll see at the end of the intro. I've been waiting for, for weeks for this special after intro intro. Um, but today, you'll see what I mean in a second. But today we have Habib Salo, CEO of Young Nails, that's been serving the nail care industry for over 20 years. Uh, Habib and Greg, Habib's older brother, run the business, and their mom decided to start her own business at the ripe age of 49. And she had a passion for the nail industry and they did everything in their power to support her. And it's interesting because Greg, uh, your older brother, became a licensed nail technician after switching gears from what I would visualize the opposite of that, which is firefighters training. The the manliest manliest man (laughs) type of people um, work and going to yep. a nail technician. So it's That's not right. what I would expect. And, and you took a detour from medical school and a life in music to do right. this. And uh, for anyone, Young Nails is a professional nail care manufacturing company exporting to over 40 countries worldwide and distributing domestically to over 3,000 stores. Javi, thanks for joining me. You're at the point where you guys are doing really well. Correct. And... Um, you have now kind of gone in, you know, from wholesale salon and then increased to consumer. Um, where is it next? What, you know, what's the future? That's, that's a great question. Um, the future for us is we want to connect with the consumer. We want to grow the brand we want to have more consumer awareness. I mean, straight up, that's really what we want to do. Yeah. We've we've connected with the professional, and we have a great relationship with the professionals in salons all around the world. Um, we want to take it to that next step of really connecting yeah. with the consumer and having them know who we are and our brand, and um, ultimately just bringing some energy and excitement to the nail category that the nail like nails can it's become kind of commoditized in the last like four years the big brands that were in the market they sold out to um these you know huge huge conglomerates and those conglomerates took the brands and kind of just sucked the life out of them to be honest with you so we want to bring fun and energy and excitement back into the nail category. We want people to like, you know, when they think of nails to, instead of like, oh, it's just a color. I mean, you know, ultimately to, to, to connect with us and like, who are those two insane, crazy brothers in nail, but to bring them, I'm sure bring you them stick some, out a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but we want them to, we want to bring some excitement into it. Honestly, like it's, there's no reason it has to be, you know, like boring and, and like where it is today. It's just, there's no, there's no life in it. And like, we're kind of tired of that. So we know we, we can bring that. And on top of that, here's what the funniest part is. Like, like we love sports. We love 
you know, I love cars. I love sports. I love nails. Right. And like, so we can talk sports, we can talk, we can all the, like the manly stuff, right. You know, we can talk all that stuff. And then I can sit down with like the biggest beauty influencer in the world and like talk nails and probably not just talk nails, but no way, way more than any top beauty influencer in the world. I know more than probably most of them hands down because we get into like the real like chemistry of it and why something works and why it doesn't. And so well, yeah, I mean, when you manufacture fun. it, what, what about the challenges of that piece? I mean, there's business yeah. challenges of sales, but then you're also manufacturing. We are manufacturing. We're one of the few companies. So most nail polish brands in the market, most beauty products in the market, they're all they're all outsourced. Like everything, there's there's these companies that will make any beauty product you want, including nail polish, have it delivered to your door. You work with them to create the formula. We we do all that here. So um, we've got our chemists and we manufacture, we assemble, fill, we've got the automated machines here that can pump out, you know, 6,000 bottles a minute. Um, but all that's done on site wow. and it's hard. It is, it is it, like you said, the challenges associated with that are never ending. Um, it's you know, a lot of people ask, why do we do it? What's the point? Why don't you just outsource it? And we like having the control yeah. of our quality control is so freaking important to us. Yeah. Every single skew we make, literally, it is checked. It is checked and it has to be approved no matter what. So that's how do you big... decide what to produce next? Because you sound, I mean, you guys are innovating, you're looking at the trends. How yep. do you decide what's next? Yeah, so that it, it, it is a real kind of two part. It's it's our pulse on the market. So through social, this is why I love and we love social here. It connects us with what is going on right now in the market. And we can see like whether that's color or nail styles or nail art, we get an immediate feel. So that helps to drive innovation there. But also like having that pulse on the market, we can we can start to dip into our experience and say, you know what, with the way things are going right now, I'm pretty sure product X that I've had on my mind for, for a few years is going to do really well here. Mm. And so that's how we go about it. And it's literally daily. Like we are talking about this every single day about new products, new innovations that we can bring to market. So we're constantly, as a small company, we can, we can move really quick. Quickly. So we're, yeah, we're constantly launching new products all the time, which is so a lot of fun. How did you meet Ezreal? So I attended a, an amazing uh, seminar in New York City. Um, it's VaynerMedia does a seminar called 4Ds. And if, you're, if you consume any of Gary V's content, Gary Vaynerchuk's content, you're probably familiar with 4Ds. I was driving on the freeway one day and I was listening to his podcast and I'm like, you know what, I gotta go check this out. I went out there, it was, it was amazing. And I had an opportunity to talk with, you know, when you're out there, you start to connect with a lot of his team, which is, they're just amazing people. And uh, one of the people on his team, you know, was kind of checking out our content and was like, hey, you guys could probably use a Facebook ads manager. What are you doing on Facebook? And I was kind of showing him. He's like, oh, you guys definitely need a Facebook ads manager. And so I was like, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, um, well, where do I start? He's like, hold on. And he literally just goes on and tweets it out. Have this nail company looking for a Facebook ads manager. There's all these responses. Um, I saw as real, he's one of the first people that was on there. Um, he responded, I hit him up and we just connected, man. Mm -hmm. We had a great connection. And, um, he coincidentally came down to San Diego for a conference. He was speaking at, I'm in LA. I drove down there. We met, uh, we really hit it off. So um, we're looking to start working with him very, very soon. Super excited about that. What else did you learn from uh, the Vayner Media <sighs> mini company? Oh, my God. This is what I learned. Like the first thing that I learned was that when you watch Gary, you don't realize 
like he's amazing like he is like unbelievably amazing but what's more amazing is the people that work with him on his team they are they're so incredibly uh talented and very smart but the biggest thing is that they're so nice they're so nice so when you go out there for the 40s they're there to like really help you and connect with you and look at your business and, and give you some real like direction as to what to do so then that you know once you experience that your perspective of like you know gary v and who he is completely changes you're like he's much more than even what we see on his content way mm-hmm. way 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 more nice but, um incredible team yeah they really look to help help brands um it's it's it was it was phenomenal so first of all i want to thank you this has been mm-hmm. awesome and uh very vulnerable with what has gone on right this is like really yes really treacherous deep stuff that we've talked about 100%. and so i appreciate you sharing um and everyone should check out youngnails.com and um i always ask at the end um, on Inspired Insider, what sure. has been a low moment and then what on the flip side has been a, a proud moment because I find the low moments is kind of what shape yeah. our, um, you know, strengthen us for for the yeah. uh, the next step. I love that question. I actually just got goosebumps as you asked that. And I would say very recently, as much as, you know, about just over a year ago, we were at a point I'd say 18 months ago, we were at a point where we were, we just flattened and plateaued. And honestly, I was like at a burnout. I was like, I don't know what else we can do to like grow our dang business, you know, just putting all this effort in. And then starting on the social media path, producing content at the beginning of that phase of producing content hit another low point because all of it. We were getting hammered by people like, what are you guys doing? What is this garbage? And then the turning point was slowly like looking at what we're doing, making little tweaks, making little tweaks, making little tweaks. 12 months later today, it's like we're we're seeing all of this working now. And it's like it was just such a hard transition, Jeremy. It was so hard because we were so used to doing Because it's customer facing, is that why? It's, it is it like you have to be transparent. You have to be – it's directly looking at your customers and it's opening up yourself on camera who you are. You're like opening your whole life to. And doing that and having people like kind of hammer slam you, you, like <laughs> slam you. Like Jeez. who are you? Who is this? And it was hard. Like I really had to reinvent myself and we had to reinvent our company. But now – after 12 months of that and, and making tweaks, you know, looking at what's not working, what's working, optimizing, looking at what's not working, what's working, optimizing, continuing on that path, testing, testing, testing. Now it's like it's we're, we're seeing this change take place with our company and our organization. And it is it's so it's amazing. It's amazing. So that's a real, that's a recent one that I can say and relevant to people that may question should they make this change onto doing a podcast or doing social or anything like that. I'm telling you, yes. And it's it's going to take time to make that transition because it's hard because you have to learn. Yeah. But 1000%, it's like, like I, we're on the right path now. Yeah. And it's, it feels good. I think you had much harder times than that, so it was probably easier to make that transition, I imagine. I, I can handle it. That's the thing. Because we've been through such gnarliness in our growth and development as a company, but it's still hard. It's still hard, right? Like it's really it's a recent hard that I can identify with. Yeah, nothing compares to the financial difficulties way back. Like nothing. There's nothing worse than that. Um, but something that's relevant to today and what we did recently, I would say I would say that's it. What drives you now to keep going? Because, you know, like you said, when you say, oh, we reached 2 million, oh, we're good, right? Yeah. But something yeah. keeps driving you further. Is it running from, you know, it's either running towards something or running away. Away is, from something, yeah. What is driving you now? Because, you, yeah. can, you know, you can become complacent, be like, yeah, the social thing's cool. We don't have to make, a, you have a rigorous 
strategy for social media, right? <laughs> yeah, 100. Yeah, so, yeah very. Uh, and that's on top of everything else you have to do. So it's not right. like you're just doing that all day. But, Correct. Um, what's driving you now to just... Yeah, really good question. And, and this is the answer for me is I've come to realize, and it took me a while to figure this out about myself, that I like when things are insane and nonstop. That's truly, and I've been like this my whole life, but it's only recently that I've come to accept at 44 years old that I've finally accepted who I am as a person that I like that. Hmm. And it's funny when we started doing, we were, we started out with three, we started out with two videos a week. Okay. A year ago. And then we kind of got that down and then we added a video and I literally had a, a conversation with my art director as well as our director of education. I said, I don't like this because now it's like, it's kind of automatic. I'm like, I, we no. Yeah. Like, so we added like a two pressure more, makes more videos type and, of thing. You just needed, you got, that's right. You, your strength, your muscle for that built up and you were fine with it. So you wanted to add more. I want to add more. And I realize I like working the amount of, t like I'm, I'm literally working, you know, 15 hours a day. Thank God I have a, my, my wife, she really is amazing. She, she knows who I am, but that's that's the driver is I love figuring things out. I'm just a, a naturally curious person and it's like, how do we make this social thing work? How can we grow into the consumer market going from the professional market in nails? I'm genuinely curious about how you make that transition and putting the pieces together to figure out how to do it. And so, and that's what it is. It's just, it's my curiosity that I, it will always be there. And and I I really do love um, the grind every single day, like I just do. So, um, what role does your mom play now? She's more of, she does purchasing still cause she is still good at it, but she'll come in for two hours and she's got a team and her team is amazing. They do an incredible job. She has got the relationships, but my mom is 70. She's going to be 75 years old. She comes in She'll do her thing. If she wants to stay all day, she'll stay all day. If she doesn't feel like it and she wants to go down to the local casino and play some Kino, that's what she does too. <laughs> <laughs> she loves her Kino, man. Well, Habib, I, thank you so much. This has been fantastic. Everyone should check out youngnails.com. And then where else should they check out on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook? You can go to Young Nails Inc. on, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat. Uh, all of them. Cool. Check it out. These guys are funny. And uh, nails, 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 right? Nails, nails, nails. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Pleasure. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better.